Well, we've made it to Loveland, just outside of Cincinnati. You can see we're gonna go see the historic castle, Chateau La Roche, which is also known here as the Loveland Castle. Kind of strange, it's right in the middle of a neighborhood. This should be a fun experience. They said they give you a little information when you first walk in and then it's a self-guided tour. I know it's been here since, I believe, 1930. Yep. It's even more fun because he takes the rest of you with you when he goes, right? right. If you explore down here, if you go upstairs, you explore up there, you find a breezeway and door open. door open from the outside on that side of the castle. The arches on this side of the castle are drying up. Here's some of the images of Henry, the man who built it, working on the castle. It's a long process. Over here is his office. Welcome to the Chateau La Roche. Harry Andrews. This castle was built by him, by one man. His name is Sir Harry Andrews. Those are Sir Harry's pictures across the mantle in different stages of his life. There's different stages of the castle being built on the wall right there in the office as well. His office is in this corner of this tower. His kitchen's in that corner of that tower. The stair towers are called Ivory Street Stairs. Oh, yeah, that's why you walk in the entrance. Just playing these stairs. He worked on this castle full time from 1955 to 1981. He was in the military and died in 1981. Let's go see his castle. So we saw the throne, that's where we came in. And then this is his kitchen. So they had the, uh, the office was over on that side where I just showed you, and this is the kitchen. I told you to be very careful of your step because he, uh, he put some very tiny stairs in here. which basically I have went up these stairs all over Europe anyway, so yeah, I, I can't yeah. wait to see this. Yeah, we can. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is cool. This is crazy. I feel like we're in the Knights Temple or something. <laughs> He's got the Ten Commandments up here. Where it says God's Ten Commandments, not just the Ten Commandments. Love one another. And this is neat, they have a commemoration, the Knights of the Golden Trail. Commemorate the anniversary of Sir Harry Andrews, 100th birthday. Look at that armor, we just came through this doorway. Well, he was really into the whole uh, having a castle thing. <laughs> We haven't even seen like a whole half of the top floor yet. So we need to go. Oh. This 
whole room is just loaded with swords. Like I said, I feel like I'm in the Knights Templar with all these chairs and swords and everything around. That's a door to the outside. So let's go explore the other half of the castle. It's weird, these almost look like metal boxing gloves. All right, this is kind of where we came in. So we'll go through here. We came up these stairs. We'll probably go up these at some point, I'm guessing. But let's explore. There's a dining room here. Wow. This place is amazing. How did I grow up in Ohio and never come here? It clearly was here. <laughs> clearly it was here. Let's go check out our view out the window. Overlooking the river. Now we'll get it from the other angle coming in from the dining room. And then we'll go upstairs. Oh, it looks like he has a bedroom up here as well. That's really neat. There's one of his bedrooms. Probably his bedroom in particular. And then in here, it says look up. Oh wow, it just keeps going up. There's a picture of Harry sitting in this room. You can see the mirror over the mantle. So he's sitting at a desk. That would have been right back there. Sitting at that desk in that photo. As you can see all the windows and everything there. And it's all rocks. Looks like he was like over there with a hammer pounding out pieces to add on. With a painting of the castle in here as well. Now we'll go up these stairs. We have a door. Oh, can't get in there. It's all locked up. I guess you're just meant to walk up here and see. There it says he's working on the French ballroom. Or that's where the French ballroom is. Sir Harry remodeling milk carton forms from his concrete bricks. Here's more of the construction of the castle. And there it is in 1930. If you look out this window, you can see a little bit of the garden down there. Let's go inside here. It's a nice touch in the door. So we just came out of this doorway. You can see more of the castle out here. I have kind of a walkway. Very cool. But you can see all of his various gardens right outside. I love that. You can see through all these. There's more of his big extended garden. Very nice property. And you get a really good view of everything out here. Looks so good, huh? Let's go here and explore this garden a little bit. Looks like he's made some sort of tribute.
This was a really cool experience. Only $5 to get in, too. And unlike some places, this place actually had a handful of people that work here. So if you have any questions, you can ask them. Sometimes you go to places like this and it's either a guided tour or there's, once you pay to get in, you're on your own. We'll have to go walk through all that. Sir Harry Andrews, I love it. As you can imagine, a lot of people come here to do photo shoots and things like that. Weddings. I'll take a look at this. I thought it said coal, but it's spelled backwards. <laughs> but then you look inside and look what you find. It's Harry. I'm kidding. Wow, what a cool experience this was. I love it. All the stained glass on the outside. I mean, said he had a photographic memory. He could speak seven languages. What a guy. I'll take a look at this. All these like gargoyle heads over here. There's some front gates, but they lock those up. So it's here. Finally made it around to the front. You can see Chateau Lillard. Haven't went down here yet. Another staircase. <laughs> They're everywhere. And then what's this? It says Danger Wild Man. Oh, creepy. You know these have to go under the house, all kinds of creepy hidden passages of who knows what. And the way that Harry came up with his name was that while he was in World War I, there was a hospital with this name, Chateau de la Roche. So he called his castle that. Well, I'm super happy. This is what I wanted to do today, and I thought we were gonna have to change and do something else because of the rain, but luckily it stopped raining just long enough for us to come here and have some fun. Just as I'm leaving, I notice he put a checker or chessboard outside this door. Here's the span of the property, basically. It's not huge, but definitely worth a nice hour adventure to come wander around and take it all in. All kinds of history all over this place.
night here in Cincinnati we're going through. This will drop us off in Kentucky. All right, one state down, one to go. Now we are passing through Louisville, or Louisville. People get upset if you don't say it right, Louisville. And then uh, should be hitting Nashville next. I love seeing all those bridges over there. Louisville Slugger Field. That's pretty cool. Dinosaur World! Passing by all kinds of crazy stuff. We just passed the American Corvette Museum, past Abraham Lincoln's birthplace, and the Fruit of the Loom headquarters. <laughs> well, my friends, we have made it to Tennessee. We're only about 40 minutes away from Nashville, so we're going to call it a night here. Thank you all for watching. Tomorrow we'll be doing something very historical, something I never thought that I would have to vlog because it was going away. I've been here numerous times, and when I found out that they were going to have to say goodbye, I was pretty sad, so... Come back and see me the next time. Have a great night, everyone. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye from Tennessee.